This segment is brought to you by Cisco Bahamas. Welcome back. We're back in the kitchen with Chef Jamal Small from Cisco Bahamas. And it is the holiday season. But Chef, of course, you know he's not going to do anything traditional. Today he's doing some braised short rib. And we also have an assortment of appetizers right in time for your holiday party this Christmas, this Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, you're having persons over. Cisco Bahamas has the They're perfect setup. Oh, they right. are there for you. You just pop these in the oven, come right out, pigs in a blanket. Uh, some mushroom stuffed uh, uh, beef, beef, it's a beef stuffed mushroom, beef stuffed stuffed mushroom, spicy beef uh, turnovers, uh -huh. and spinach turnovers, and pigs in a blanket, and potato puffs. Quick variety, something so five, for everyone. Five in a pack. Five in a pack. You can get that at Cisco Bahamas, but we are going to get right into it. Short of course, rib. we're going to show you how to braise the short rib. Today. Go ahead. So we're going to start with a hot pot, of course. Just for the essence of time, we pre seared our, our short rib, mm -hmm. salt and pepper, or whatever seasons you like. Yes. You know, we, we like to season up. Just make sure it's seasoned up. Get a Set good crust on, on that all meat. Sides, and then Janae is going to do the honors and pour our vegetables in. So we have shallots, celery, carrot carrots. in the same pan that you seared the meat. So then all those pot. drippings, all those juices from the meat, you get that nice sear on that. Leave that in the pot and you put your those. marapois in there. Mm -hmm. So we have marapois with an additional um, additives of fresh herbs and dried herbs. So it's not just a basic marapois. We have a marapois that has a bit of additives. The smell, the smell is amazing. You can yeah. smell that yes. aroma, that garlic, shallots, carrots, celery in there. Mm -hmm. Get that going. And what we're adding to that now is some tomato paste. Of course. We're going to add tomato paste once that's cooked down, of yes. course. So we're gonna cook that down for about two to four minutes. And then we're gonna add tomato paste. And what we're gonna do is cook out the tomato paste. Of course, we're gonna cook it out. We have to cook it out, because we don't have that raw, starchy right. taste. Right, let that in cook down. Part. So we're gonna let that cook down, let it get nice. Even if you get some nice burn, charred um, pieces, um, in there. pieces in there, mm -hmm. that's perfect. Right. We want that. So you want that Maillard reaction. We want that vegetables to get cooked. Of course, we add a little bit of salt just so we can open the up the flavors in the vegetables. And oh, you're doing a good job there. See, I after am, all this time, yeah. so twelve there. months, and I am finally able to stir the pot. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're gonna crank the heat. Of course, get it super hot. And at that point, it's already cooked down. Yes. So we're gonna pretend like it's cooked down, and we're gonna deglaze, which are any flavor red wine. Yes. It could be a cab. It could be a salmon. Listen. Whatever you have in the house, cooking wine, wine that you're gonna drink, deglaze. That's about what, cup. two cups? Oh, it's Maybe. About a cup. About a cup. Mm -hmm. Now, wrap it high, high heat, Turn high it up. heat, high heat. We want that to boil. Leave it alone, let it boil, come up to a boil. So once it comes up to a boil and reduces by half, right. we're gonna hit it with your beef stock. Beef Got stock, you. chicken stock, vegetable stock, whatever stock water, you have. whatever you have. But what we're going to use today is some raisin liquid that I already, you know, what we are chefs, right. we recycle, we build flavors, use, small use, mommy. Use. So we're going to hit it with some raisin liquid. Going to bring that to a boil again. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to hit it with the short ribs. So hit these short ribs with the are meat. boneless short ribs. Okay. So look at that. Boneless. The on that. Incredible. Already said. We put it in that braising liquid. We and short ribs take some time, right? Oh, yeah, they take some time. About three it, it hours. Some tender loving care. Yes. So after three hours, they're gonna. So you can set this in it. the morning. Do what you gotta do on Christmas. You can actually Come set it from the day before. That's what I recommend. Okay. You, you, it's a labor of love, but hey, it's worth it. Okay. It is well worth it. So it takes about three hours. Two methods. You could cook, no, well, actually three. Mm -hmm. You could cook it stove top, right? Low and slow, oven. No one slow, or you can put an instant pot. Instant Anything pot. that works for you. For me, Whatever I would go convenient. to the instant pot method because you know, instant quick pot, and yeah. easy, <laughs> very convenient. So to accompany that, I made our ground provisions with coconut milk. So we got cassava, sweet potato, carrots, a little, you know, all that stuff. Made some ground provisions, almost like a Tell polenta. Us a little so bit we about cook that. it down. What is spinach. it like? So that's a texture polenta. Okay. So with the sweet potato and the carrots, everything's cooked down, the cassava, and I whip it. So you get a starch get with that. your meal. So we you get start with your starch. meat. Of course we have a right. starch. Right. So we're gonna hit it with a big bowl. 
at the big bowl right here. And as you go after three hours, you could pull it out. If you do it the day before, after three hours, yes, pull it set. out, let it cool, cool, strain the liquid, let it cool in the liquid. Mm -hmm. And the next day we heat it up. Once we heat it up with that strained liquid, nice and slow, we have a demi and you have this unctuous, and delicious. the glaze on this is beautiful. I've been basting the meat all morning. Yes, she has. To get that glaze on there uh, to accompany your ground provisions, right? Correct. So that's right. our sauce. So we're going to hit it with the ground provisions. Ajne is doing a fantastic job of basting the short rib. Got it. And this is on our special sheet, actually. So... We get it at the deal. So we have our Cisco branded short ribs from Buckhead. Certified Angus beef, of course. Right. So only the best. We put two pieces in there just for the fun of it. This could be a sharing plate. This looks good already. That glaze, it's glistening over that meat. So we have that there. Have your starch, and of course, Chef is going to garnish the plate. Yes, he has we have his some micro veggies here. Carrots, radishes. Carrots, radishes. We did just cook it down in a little burfondue. Burfondue is about equal parts water and French butter. Looks like Christmas on a plate already. It reminds me of Christmas tree with the ornaments and all of the colors, the bright colors. He is ready for Bay Street. Of course, we're going to hit it with a quail egg. Of course, because we're being fancy today. It's Christmas. Hit that with the quail egg. Quail egg there and there. Let's make sure I put some love in it. You know, just sauce it up. Sauce it up with that demi. Oh, ah, that looks so good already, Chef. I can't wait. <laughs> of course. Hit me up at Cisco. I can walk you through this easy recipe. It's a very easy recipe. You can hit up YouTube, watch Gordon Ramsay's version. Listen, yeah. it works. It works. Meal it works. inspired. It's just, it's just perfect. Christmas. Time something to eat different, yet? Something different. You ready? Yeah, turkey. Is it time to eat yet? Is it okay, Christmas? If you want to jump, if you want to jump in, really if you want to jump in, okay, jump in. The beef is. Oh my gosh, this rib is so tender. Some polenta in there. Mmm. I had to do a double take because the meat is so tender. Slides right off of the fork, cut right in. It is so juicy and flavorful. You get a lot of those layers that Chef talked about. And right. I guess that's the benefit of letting it cook low and, and slow. And slow, right. And letting so it sit overnight, long. you know, overnight, it builds flavor, it gets more intense. And then when you reheat it, it'll send you have a flavor bomb. So we can even talk about that. So we have a boil. See, it's going. We have a boil going here. You could add guava at this point, fresh guava. Yeah. Add a bit of twist. You could you could deglaze with Vitamalt. Like that's a twist. Uh, ah. So we got a different flavor. And a lot of people are uh, experimenting with Guinness now oh, as well. Yeah. So we could add a stout Guinness. Hey, the world is your oyster. And I can't stop eating. The world is your oyster when it comes to the short rib. Listen. I don't know about y'all, but I have in this instead of ham and turkey for Christmas because it is so good. If you want. And an option for Christmas Day, check out all of the recipes on our Eyewitness News page. Check out all of Chef Jamal Small's social pages. You can also check out Cisco Bahamas for all of today's specials. Of course, we have this variety of appetizers that yes. you can serve at your next holiday party. Be sure the to... The holiday party, because it's going to be a bunch. Party. Yes, we're going to have a bunch going on, so listen, it's convenient. So make sure to be safe. Eat and drink responsibly, but be sure to go to Cisco Bahamas for all of your cooking needs. Once again, thanks to Chef Jamal Small, and we're wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. But mm -hmm. that wraps up news this Wednesday. 
Once again, we want to thank you all for joining us along with uh, Chef Jamal Small from Cisco Bahamas. Uh, coming up next and beyond the headlines with Shanique Miller, she has a breakdown of all of today's top stories. It's a show you don't want to miss. That does it for us here at Eyewitness News. It's certainly been a pleasure having you in our company tonight. Once again, I'm Janae Noel saying good night and be safe, everyone. <laughs>